Hi. No, what I was trying to say is you asked for a specific yeah. example, and I'm not going to rat Christine out. That's what I was trying okay. to say. Girl. Had a conversation with Janelle recently where I said, hey, let's, let's, um, let's figure this out, you know? In this hot and trending news, Robin has been caught lying and turning the family against Christine for years. What and why did Robin lie? And what was her purpose? What do you guys think will happen to Robin after being caught lying? Stay tuned to know all the answers, so make sure to watch the video to the very end. Hey everyone and welcome back to Topish. We have some exciting stories that are full of lip smacking delicacies, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. With that being said, let's begin. Robin Brown is attempting to alter history after being exposed for telling a lie. Robin has been portraying the naive fawn in the most recent episodes. However, her deceit has been discovered by her supporters, who are now calling her out for it. How is Cody's favorite wife attempting to change history, and what specifically did she lie about? In the most recent episode of Sister Wives, Cody described Robin as his wife's finest communicator. However, it appears that she may possibly be a liar. Fans have frequently referred to her as manipulating and given Robin the moniker Sobbin Robin. But they've recently discovered a clear discrepancy. Cody informed Janelle that her sons owed Robin an apology before they left for lunch. Naturally, Robin did not want Cody to represent her. Additionally, she claimed that she never asked for an apology from them and was simply trying to clear the air with them. That, however, was not exactly what happened. To serve as a reminder to viewers of how it all began, a Reddit topic was created. The worst crock of shit that Robin said was that she didn't ask for an apology and said, why is he talking about me in the apology discussion? Do you remember when she was complaining about receiving texts and being assigned responsibility for the protocols? I do. It began. She's thought to have gotten so deep inside Cody's mind that she needs to just admit it. I appreciate how Janelle is exposing Robin's deceit and combative actions, one person said. We all knew that. She's just confirming. Another person commented, if Robin didn't want to be brought in, she should have said so right away, rather than waiting for a later private interview. She is really phony, and she believes that the public is easily duped. Robin Brown frequently claims that she wishes to mend her family bonds, particularly those with her sister wives. Cody jumps and becomes anxious every time she talks about healing connections. He takes it for granted that she feels their marriage needs improvement. But because they're unable to cooperate, the family as a whole needs to be reconstructed. Cody was having trouble even when he mentioned having Gabe and Garrison visit for Christmas 2021. Janelle was aware that he had requested an apology, but he believes Robin's intervention caused him to clarify it. Robin and Cody might be the only people left standing at this time, with Mary standing to the side because the family has severely fractured. Furthermore, Cody has been a bit of a jackass if you've been watching the current season of Sister Wives, like even more than usual. He was obviously upset when Christine decided to leave him, but because he's too egotistical to comprehend this, he chooses to act out instead. It's been difficult to watch him struggle, entirely unable to process his emotions and resort to being terrible instead. Earlier this season in a standout scene, Cody demanded that his surviving women conform to patriarchy and expressed his concern that allowing the wives to be independent would destroy their family. What a treasure, yeah? Even for Cody, who has never been accused of being a feminist, this is a lot. In addition, a sneak peek from this week's episode of Sister Wives suggests that Robin does not share Cody's positive impression of women in general, beginning with what seems to be a very serious discussion regarding the state of their relationships now that Christine is gone, Robin, Cody, Janelle, and Mary are shown in the clip. Robin explains struggling to speak through her emotions. It's hard to be a multiple wife when your husband has a wife leaving him. She says, and most men in monogamy just do foolish things. They date anyone, and they're unhappy and pissed, and women stink. He's coping with that while still being married. Robin tells Janelle and Mary that she has told Cody that she believes he's lining up all ladies, and you're there, and you're there. Because Christine is a woman, and because he's hurt and angry, he's shooting us all down. You'd think that in such a circumstance, the husband would be able to deal with his emotions toward one wife without having them negatively impact his perception of all women. But this is Cody we're talking about. So wishing for it might be unrealistic. 
I think women face a very different weight in plural marriage than men do, and I've seen men leave plural marriages feeling like, you know, five to six wives never feeling like they'd been loved, Cody says in a confessional. Oh, Cody, you miserable thing. He continues, plural marriage isn't all beer and skittles. It's not intended for men. He even admits that he doesn't want to mansplain the issue, which is a relief because it shows that he recognizes that both women and men in plural marriages actually have different kinds of challenges. It's just plain evident that it's challenging, he claims. Why would you do that if you were planning to show your husband? Robin explains to the group that her main goal in the large discussion is to help them all work through their relationship issues. At that point, Janelle gets up to leave and announces that she has to go pick up her baby. It's obvious that Janelle has had enough of Cody's bullshit by this point. The topic of conversation shifts to that. So Janelle can display hers before she departs because it appears they had been intending on showing each other the plans for the houses they eventually wanted to build on Coyote Pass. Cody understands in his confessional that we're headed down a road where we really were on the verge of a key dialogue because of a rare moment of insight. And right now we're looking at plans and getting all excited and stuff. We ought to have ended the important conversation in my opinion. He says, we're just going to ignore it. That's exactly what will happen. This kind of footage is so bizarre to see because it makes the family's impending collapse utterly obvious to everyone who's watching. Like nothing's going right. After seeing this, it appears even more plausible that Janelle has left, if that is even conceivable, and Christine's decision to leave seems even more wise. If Cody treats his wife badly simply because they're a woman, and if he subtly laments feelings unwanted despite having several marriages, what exactly are they all doing? Why live that way? Mary's isolation from the family has also caused tension in her relationship with her ex-husband, and this is all the result of underlying jealousy. According to a source who spoke to the US Sun, Mary was envious of Robin the entire time and made decisions only with the intention of attracting Cody's attention. Mary regrets bringing Robin into the family, the insider continued. From 1990 to 2014, Cody 53 and Mary 51 were formally wed. They separated in September 2014, but kept their spiritual union intact. A couple of months later, on December 11th, Cody and Robin had a legal wedding. Separately, Christine and Cody were married in March 1994, while Janelle and Cody exchanged vows in January 1993. Janelle, 53, and Christine, 50, had previously declared their divorce from Cody. In a preview for the forthcoming Sister Wives one-on-one -on -one episode, Mary dropped the news that Cody had decided to leave her. Mary was extremely hurt by Cody since she loves him, the person claimed. In the video, Mary discussed her disastrous relationship with her ex with the host Sukanya Krishnan. As opposed to this past anniversary when he commented, I don't even know why you called me Mary, she noted that their first anniversary in Flagstaff was a celebration of a fresh beginning. We're not married, he says, we don't appear to be married. The insider continued, those who genuinely knew what was going on behind closed doors do not find this news of the separation shocking. They have not had a connection of any kind for years, according to the insider. They've never even been pals. They've never hosted sleepovers unless absolutely necessary. He never visits her home. They don't even send or receive texts. They've basically been divided since the catfishing episode, the person continued. After six months of chatting online, Mary thought she was in a relationship with a man named Sam, only to discover he was actually a woman named Jackie. This catfishing incident became public in March 2015. The insider revealed that Cody lost faith in her when she openly decided to pretend she was dating someone else. It was all about her betrayal and her refusal to accept responsibility for it, it insisted. He doesn't trust her at all, it added. She made fun of him. His feelings of sorrow, betrayal, and embarrassment will never go away. Is Robin next? The majority of Mary's time lately has been spent at her bed and breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn, in Parowan, Utah. In contrast, Cody and Robin, both 44, reside in a $890,000 home in Flagstaff, Arizona, with five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Cody is still happily married to the sole wife he has left, Robin, whom he previously referred to as his favorite wife. Ariella and Solomon are their two joint children, Dayton, Aurora, and Brianna, Robin's children from her previous union with David Jessup, were also adopted by Cody. According to a family insider, I don't think Robin will ever leave, the U.S. son. 
She struggled greatly during her divorce and as a single mother. According to the source, Robin, who has refrained from publicly criticizing the separation from the other wives, is not happy and sad that the family has disintegrated. She's also in a better place now that she's not the target of everyone's rage and hatred, according to the source. In part one of Sister Wives Special, which premieres on TLC on Sunday, December 18th, the Brown family will detail the status of their current relationships as well as the challenges they encountered in the previous year. That ends today's video. Please leave a comment below to let us know what you think will happen next with the Browns. Like and share this video to stay up to date on their progress, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Topish keeps you up to date on all the latest Hollywood celebrity news, drama, and gossip. Subscribe to our channel and check back for new videos and updates, and we'll see ya in the next video.